Hello out there all you history fans and welcome to really what is the end of our study of the Industrial Revolution using the Industrial Revolution Teaching and Learning website resource. Um, under this tab of impacts on society we're going to look at and study the impacts of the Industrial Revolution on societies and the societies that experience these um, industrial related revolutions. So in particular uh, for example not only England but Australia as well. And some of these um, short and long term impacts that still exist today. Uh, so today, as I just said, we are doing the short and long term impacts of the Industrial Revolution. Your learning intention and success criteria. So by the end of this lesson you need to know the impacts of the Industrial Revolution. And by the end of the, this lesson you need, you need to be able to explain the short and long term impacts of the Industrial Revolution. So let's have a look at the short term impacts to start off with. So the first one is agriculture. So agricultural practices and inventions created during the revolution continue to be refined, in particular breeding and fertilization. Next one is consumer goods. So more items like clothes became cheaper and more readily available for everyone. Um, the, also the quality of these products improved over time as well. The next one is the city. So the infrastructure of cities uh, radically improved by the end of the industrial revolution, mainly in relation to pipes, gutters, and building materials. So the quality of the building materials, also sanitation, running water in existing uh, buildings, but also on streets as well. Next one is education. So we've got factory acts. So these famous factory acts prevented child labor and further laws kept children in schools. And then the minimum age to leave school became 13 eventually. There was various ages and various different factory acts that were introduced. Um, and eventually led to 13 um, was the minimum age you could leave school. So you had to be 13 before you could leave school. Last one is railways. So they allow for the rapid movement of goods and services. This is in particular to the United Kingdom, probably more than any other country. The steam train also allowed for more travel and tourism as well, um, particularly in relation to America. Some of the longer term impacts. So some of the impacts that we still really see today. So the first one is labor unions. So labor unions were formed to uh, protect employees from exploitation in the workplace. The next long-term impact are vaccines and medicines. So diseases during the Industrial Revolution demanded scientific advancements, many crucial medicines and vaccines we use today were made during this time. So for instance, we um, have Jenner, uh, Jenner's cholera vaccine. And you've got a, like a little picture of that here. Um, that is one of the vaccines that we still use today to protect ourselves against the diseases that ran rampant during the Industrial Revolution. The next one is the rise of feminism or the emergence of the rise of feminism. So the Industrial Revolution highlighted the importance of women in society, not only the roles women had at home, but also um, the place for women in the workplace that hadn't really existed before. Um, so in particular, women had certain jobs that men didn't do. Um, so that led to the emergence of, of what we know as feminism today. Population growth. So the population of Britain tripled during the Industrial Revolution. This impact is still being felt today. Infant mortality rates decreased by the end of the revolution and then fertility rates increased. So the amount of babies dying when they were babies decreased, but then the amount, uh, amount of babies overall increased as well, which led to population rise. Um, so that's one where we are still going uh, through today. We're living the legacy of that impact. Next one is the British Empire. So the economic success of the Industrial Revolution gave Britain the chance to expand and create colonies. So the way uh, we know Australia today wouldn't have existed without uh, the Industrial Revolution. Next one is deforestation and clearing land. So the amount of land cleared for infrastructure and railway during the Industrial Revolution was unprecedented and has permanently impacted the environment. And then the last one is climate change. So the Industrial Revolution set humanity on the path of climate change through unprecedented burning of coal, uh, which also created the trend for modern industry to rely on coal and fossil fuels. So that's why I've got this little graph here from our world of data. So you can see here, as the Industrial Revolution went through, so did our CO2 emissions dropped in the World Wars um, after, um, well, during the 1900s. But you can see right up until the end of the Industrial Revolution, the amount of CO2 emissions was quite, quite high. Um, and that's where we are today. That's for the United Kingdom in particular, the heart of the Industrial Revolution as well. Um, guys, pretty easy task for this lesson. Number one, um, get onto Education Perfect and complete the task called Impacts of the Industrial Revolution. And when you finish that, there's a Kahoot you can play here with your class by clicking on 
that link there. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope um, this lesson was beneficial for you. Um, that education perfect task is quite chunky as well, so make sure you spend a fair bit of time on that one. And I'll see you for our next lesson. Thank you.